Hello traders and investors. So today's session is going to be just kind of a little bit of an overview of the tool of OptionStrat. It's a, uh, a really great tool. I love using it. And uh, I just want to kind of walk people through uh, a few different ways that I use it here today. For some of you, this might be some review. Uh, for others, hopefully you'll see that, um, you know, it might bring a new feature or something to light that maybe you hadn't uh, picked up on before. So with that, we'll get moving forward. I think this is a really, really great tool uh, specifically for newer options traders that are trying to understand all of the different types of positions that a trader might consider out there. And you can come in and have the ability of modifying and adjusting trades and seeing how those adjustments impact your um, you know, your trade that you might have started with. So to show you what I mean by this and why I consider this such a great tool. First of all, this thing is really interactive. It's really fast. I love the user interface, the user design surrounding it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, kind of shut down my video here so you get the full screen effect. But basically what I like about it uh, is I can come in as an options trader and there is an entire library of potential trades that I can quickly and easily model up here. So of course, we're gonna be talking a lot about calendar spreads. Well, if I want to see more about, well, what is a calendar spread? How does that work? If I hover over this, you can see right down below there, it gives me a diagram. It tells me what types of position it is. It tells me if it's limited profit, limited loss, or if it's, um, you know, unlimited uh, in some way. It, it really kind of spells out all the great stuff about that particular spread. And now if I want to maybe put on one of those spreads, I simply click and it will open that up for me. Now I tend to mainly trade in SPX, so that's what this defaults to. And now I've got on a calendar spread here in SPX. Now this is just a modeling of a calendar spread. Let me be clear on that. This did not execute a trade in any way. But what's really cool about this now is I can come in and I can see, well, this modeled a calendar spread um, with the short at 1012, or excuse me, the short at 1010, the long at 1012. But maybe I want to look at a different type of calendar spread. Maybe I want this to be um, uh, much, much wider or in time. So maybe I want this to be, uh, let's see, oh, actually, I think they change this. I have to come in here and change the expiration, and maybe I change that first expiration to be the uh, monthly in October, and then maybe my second expiration I want to take out to maybe the November uh, monthly expiration. So let's, I can just scroll through this, and there's a November's. And then it will show me what this same option spread might look like in November. Let me just refresh my screen here. And so I can, I can take a look at how this spread might look different depending on the different configurations that I might put it into. And again, this is just for a calendar spread. I also then, on the base level, you won't have this, but in, in a subscriber level, you'll also have the ability then to look at all of the Greeks, that this particular trade has 2.53 in delta. It's got a 69 theta decay, meaning that each day, uh, all things being equal, this is going to drip $67, $69 into my account through theta decay. Uh, gives me my gamma reading, vega reading, etc. Now, I can model this. You can see that it shows me right here, this green line, what my PL will be at this particular time. The dashed line here shows me what that PL will be um, halfway through the expiration of this trade. So halfway through, this trade will be up about $1,000 if nothing else changes, and of course, what it would be at expiration. Uh, I can slide this forward, by the way, by simply sliding this forward in time, and I can see now how the PL of this trade, this dark green line called our T0 line, how that's going to change over time. So very, very valuable 
to be able to model these things. I can also take a look at, well, what is in is going to happen if implied volatility spikes up? How is that going to impact this trade? What if implied volatility drops? Okay, so I have a whole bunch of what ifs that I can model in here. I can look at this in this scenario, a graphical mode, which is my favorite way of looking at it, but I can also come in and look at it in a table mode. So people that are more geared to specifically looking at numbers, they can take a look at this exact same thing in a numbers fashion. Again, I'm, I'm more of a graphical person. Um, we can look at our P&L in dollar, range. We can look at it as far as a percentage range. Um, so there's a lot of different things. I'm not going to even begin to try to get into everything that this product does. But the key takeaway here is that you can come in here, model trades, and lock them down uh, in whatever price configuration you enter them. And then you can even come in and model adjustments. You know, what if you roll this strike to a different level, things like that. So that's what this program is all about. And again, I just, I just love how fast it is. I love the graphical interface. I love the fact that I can come in and, you know, move anything that I want around in here. I want to change my strikes. I can just move it up to a different strike and see how that models. So lots of different flexibility here.